Commander, fresh news from the war on Iocath. Imperial gunners shot down one of our transports. Republic's helping us recover our losses, but we're locked in a stalemate. You always know how to cheer me up. What about our hunt for the traitor in our ranks? We're questioning everyone from the usual suspects to your top advisors. So far, everyone looks clean. We'll find the traitor, but these mole hunts take time. I know how much energy you're putting into this. It means a lot to me. And you mean a lot to me. I do anything to protect you. Theron Sean, are you getting romantic on me? Is it working? Absolutely. Now, oh, if only I could produce results. Lighten up, Theron. Things aren't all doom and gloom. Well, you look cheery today, Lana. Did Galt spike the calf again? Even better. I found a lead. Alliance agents picked up a signal from the shadow world of Umbara. It's encrypted with the same algorithm the traitor used on Iocath. They're still on the planet, helping our Imperial rivals grab a massive stockpile of Adegan crystals. Why would the traitor risk their neck over a bunch of crystals? They're attuned to the Force and extremely powerful. Darth Malgus once used them to construct his stealth armada. He's gone, but the Empire may be continuing his work. Both sides have tinkered with the Deegan crystals for years. Part of an arms race to build a new arsenal of superweapons. If we move quickly, we can corner the traitor and hijack those crystals. Intel says they're on an Umbaran supply train headed for the capital city. Then we leave now. The traitor won't escape us this time. The train is on the move, and the traitor's on board. Nothing we can do. Traitors on the other side of that door. They're gone. That's impossible. According to the signal, they're still on the convoy. Theron? It's over, Commander. In a few minutes, this train will collide with that mountain branch. You'll be disintegrated, and I'll escape with the Adegan crystals. Don't worry. You won't feel a thing. Did you ever love me? Or was that all part of the act? You know I love you. But this is bigger than us. Luring you into that trap on Iocath was just the beginning. Ever since you defeated Valkorion, everything I've done has been towards one goal. The total destruction of the Eternal Alliance. You helped build the Alliance. After everything we've been through, why tear it down now? What I built was an end to the Eternal Empire, not this. I followed you because I believed you'd end the cycle of war. I thought we'd finally be free once you took down Valkorion. But the Alliance outgrew you. Now it's rotting from the inside, the galaxy's fighting back, and you've become a symbol of oppression. So much for your dreams of peace. If you felt this way, you should have come to me first. I wanted to tell you. I knew you'd try to talk me down. I couldn't take that risk. If you topple the Alliance, millions will die. If that's the cost of peace, 
So be it. 30 seconds to impact. This is goodbye. I'll always love you, Theron. Nothing will ever change that. Lana! Theron escaped. Warning. Collision imminent. Brace for impact. We need to survive long enough to make Theron pay. Jump! Surprised you survived the crash. I didn't think it would be that easy. But it buys me enough time to get off world. Theron, come back. We can talk about this. We're long past that. I don't understand. How did I not see this coming? Was I really that blind? If anyone was blind, it was me. We were. I know. I'm sorry, Commander. This isn't over, Theron! No! This is just beginning. We recovered most of the Adegan crystals. Once we tap into their power, Iokath is as good as ours. And Theron? Word of his betrayal is spreading quickly. My agents are running damage control, but it will be weeks before we know how much harm he inflicted. Even with the truth out in the open, I can hardly believe Theron was the traitor. I loved him. I'm still trying to figure out where the lies stopped and the truth began. We'll be piecing that mystery together for months. We should brace ourselves for Theron's next move. Find out what Jace Malcolm knows, and try to locate Satil Sean. I already have feelers digging into Satil's whereabouts. I'll begin the hunt at once. Before you start, I want to send a message to Theron. Open a hollow channel and prepare to broadcast it across the galaxy. Clearing channels now. What message will you send the traitor? This is the commander of the Eternal Alliance. I have a message from my old friend, Theron Sean. We've been through a lot together, Theron. In your honor, I'm dedicating a hundred Eternal Fleet ships to the fight for peace. Return to the Alliance, and these ships will be yours to command. We can end the cycle of war, but we have to work together. I love you, Theron. Come home. I love you too, but I can't. So, you did as we asked. We had our doubts, but now we see your dedication to the cause. We've reached a decision. Theron Sean, welcome to the Order. Good timing, Commander. It seems the right people saw your broadcast to Theron. I just approved a landing request from an unarmed shuttle from the Chiss Ascendancy. The envoy claims he has a lead on where Theron went. If someone spotted Theron, that means we can reach him before he makes a huge mistake. Every day our chances lessen. Let's hope the Chiss give us the information we need.
A pleasure to finally meet you, Commander. Aristocrat Saganu of the Chiss Expansionary Defense Force. You said you have information on Theron? Information that will benefit us both. Theron Shan is hiding on the Chiss world of Copero. He's receiving aid from Syndic Zenta of House Inrokini in exchange for Alliance secrets. With our help, you can catch them both unaware. You would really turn against one of your own to help the Alliance? After Zenta's actions, she's no longer welcome among the Chiss. Zenta violated Ascendancy orders when she sheltered Theron, and now she's ignoring our communications. She's gone rogue. She has the backing of House Inrokini, so we can't capture Theron without igniting a political war. But if a strike team were to land and take care of the problem, the Ascendancy will look the other way. Outsiders have never been allowed on Copero. You trust us that much? I do have one stipulation. I'll send a representative along to keep the Ascendancy's best interests in mind. Lieutenant Rainer Temple of the Chiss Expansionary Defense Force reporting. I've heard a lot about your tactics, Commander. I hope to prove a useful ally. I look forward to working with you, Lieutenant. Here's to a beneficial partnership. If there are no objections, we should get a move on. We don't know how long the Aristocra's information will be valid. Get ready to take off. Let's bring Theron home. I see you've met our traitor. Have you secured yours? He's gone. It seems Theron Shon has betrayed us both. He wasn't seeking refuge on Capero. He was after the Chiss relic hidden here. Does she mean the hollow map? I'm going to need an explanation. Long ago, Chiss agents stole a hollow map from the Sith Emperor, in case our deal with the Empire went sour. It shows the coordinates to the Emperor's greatest secrets. It's been hidden here on Capero. And only the highest-ranking Chiss can access it. Sean knew this, and he used me. He sliced into my personal logs to steal the map's location. Once he had what he needed, Sean took my best fighters and abandoned me. Theron must have told you what he plans to do with the hollow map. I don't know the details, but my spies picked up enough to tell me we're all in danger, Commander. Sean has joined a group searching for a powerful weapon. One capable of destroying entire civilizations. They want to use it against you and the Alliance. That map will lead Theron straight to it. Let's see where you're hiding. There it is. Of all the planets in the galaxy. Then our objective is clear? Yeah. Trust in my vision, Sean. You will not fail. Hmm. 
Well, I hope you're right. For all our sakes. Seems we now have a mutual enemy. I've sent you the coordinates to Sean's location. If you hurry, you can stop him. One moment, Commander. As you know, Syndic Zenta is a traitor to the Chiss. Officially, we can't act on this. But you can. If you disposed of Zenta, you would have the gratitude of the Ascendancy. I may even be able to broker an alliance. You wouldn't dare. I'm the commander of the Alliance. I won't stoop to doing your dirty work. You also stand to benefit from her elimination. The Syndic bought Alliance secrets. At the very least, her actions warrant imprisonment. I did it to help my people. To keep House in Rokini safe. Would the Alliance not do the same? If Zenta lives, we have no deal. The choice is yours, Commander. Lana, we need a prisoner extraction. Take her back to Odessan. Right away. I suppose I should be grateful. That is... disappointing. I've received Zenta's map coordinates, Commander. Let's go. We're not letting Theron escape again. End of the line, Theron. Go! I'll hold them off! No, you'll never win! Victory isn't my fate, Theron. It's yours! Sir, I've received an update from Aristocra Saganu. How Sinrokini is furious at the Aristocra for handing Zenta to an outsider. They're calling for retribution. At this rate, a political war among the Chiss is inevitable. Theron's my only concern now. Does Zenta know where he went? We've been combing through her terminal data, but it seems unlikely. In any case, I'd like to stay and continue working with the Alliance. I believe my connection to the Ascendancy could be valuable here. Good. We'll need the extra hands to capture Theron, and find this mysterious group he's allied with. We managed to recover fragments of the hollow map he destroyed. I'm personally overseeing a team of engineers to piece them back together. I assure you, Commander, no one sleeps until we discover where the traitor is headed. I want to catch Theron as much as you, but you're working everyone too hard, including yourself. I can't just let him get away with this. Not after what he did. I'll rest when that treacherous scum is begging for mercy at your feet. We're close to uncovering the next step in his plan. Then the real hunt begins. We received the coordinates. You've proven yourself useful, Theron. I held up my end of the bargain. Now it's your turn. Will this really work? You have no need to worry. The Eternal Alliance and its commander will be destroyed. The Order of Zildrog will prevail. Commander, you're just in time. Hilo discovered a new lead in our search for the Order of Zildrog. My guys picked up a weird signal from an abandoned Imperial listening post on one of their runs. Seems it was meant for the Alliance. When decrypted, the signal broadcasts one word, Zildrog. The same as the message we intercepted from Theron. Someone is trying to lead us to the Order. I know it. If the message is linked to the one Theron sent, he could be using his place in the Order to help us. I admit it's possible. But even if that were true, we have no way of knowing his real motive. We need to get inside that listening post and gather whatever data we can. There's no telling what you'll find, so I'll come along to provide support. I'm ready when you are. Then let's get moving. Hilo, ready the shuttle.
today, I watched two children on the spire fight over a discarded ration. I could do nothing to help them. Sakul was a golden empire, and now look at us. Digging through the ashes the Alliance left behind, so many families torn apart, fighting a war they never wanted. And for what? So the Outlander can lecture us about peace while we're left with nothing? Valkorion's death, Arkham's tyranny, Valen's path of destruction. It all began with the Outlander. I don't know what I can do, but I won't stand by and watch my people suffer. I need to take down the Alliance. For Zakul. Who is this man? According to the data, his name is Vin Atreus, former member of Valen's Horizon Guard. He was reported missing six months ago. Beyond that, no records. How did you find me? It wasn't difficult. Despite clumsy attempts to cover your trail, I was able to learn everything about you. I know how to awaken Zildrog, and where to find it. It's much closer than you think. You're lying. I searched the Gemini network. I have ascended beyond the Gemini network. I severed my connection to maintain my free will. I've attained knowledge an organic like yourself cannot comprehend. If you provide the right people, I can help you control Zildrog. What do you want in return? My sisters are shackled to the throne. I still feel them calling to me. You want them freed? No. I want them destroyed. As long as the Eternal Fleet and the Gemini Network exist, I remain vulnerable to outside control. Zildrog is the key to my freedom. I will not be enslaved again. Odessan isn't the only target. They're after the entire Alliance, everything we built. We haven't lost yet. We need to find the Order and stop them from awakening Zildrog. My scans show there's still one more active terminal. Let's hurry. There's only one solution. You must monitor everyone. Hold on, Minister of Paranoia. You can't invade everyone's privacy to sniff out a single rat. I can't, but the Commander can. Give the order and I'll begin surveillance of everyone, even Theron and myself. It's the only way to flush out the traitor. We spent weeks sweeping Odessan for bugs, and somehow they still had eyes on us. How is that possible? When Emperor Arkan gave the order to bomb my homeworld, we didn't even have time to evacuate. Millions of people, my people, wiped out in an instant. All because Arkan wanted to send a message to the Alliance. And now, he sits beside the Commander as a friend? Where is my justice? I promise you, Arkan and the Commander will pay for their crimes. The Alliance will fall. But I need your help, Chilanes. You shall have it. I know better than to trust a Sith Lord, Darth Mortis. The Alliance had the chance to seize control of the galaxy. Yet its commander wastes the throne's power on diplomacy. I'd rather see the Eternal Fleet destroyed than remain in the hands of a weak leader. That can't be your only reason for joining the Order. You must want something in return. All I ask is that when the time comes, you lead the traitor Lana Benico to me. Consider it done. I... I think I finally found it. After combing through all the data we took from Iocath. There was a string of numbers repeated over and over. When I decrypted them, the string spelled a word. Zildrog. I thought it was just a legend, but the Dragon God of Zakul is real. And it's a super weapon, capable of consuming entire civilizations. 
I, I don't know how to wake Zildrog or how to control it, but I'm one step closer. It's finally here. My chance to destroy the Alliance and avenge my people. But I can't do it alone. There's another machine god. If the Order awakens Zildrog and uses it on Odessan. Odessan is only the beginning. This weapon could devastate the galaxy. We're running out of time. Strange. New data was entered into this console just before we arrived. What does it say? It's a set of coordinates on Nathema. There's a message. They've found it. Hurry. Wait. I recognize this encryption method. We developed it together years ago on Rishi. Only two people know how to decrypt it. Me and Theron. I never stopped believing in Theron. This proves he's still on our side. Commander, I know you want to trust him, but... Self-destruct reactivated. All personnel advised to evacuate immediately. We'll discuss it later. Let's get out of here, before the whole station blows. It's on you now, Commander. You destroyed the data? Didn't leave a trace. I received word from my team. They've repaired the hollow map from Capero. The data confirmed the Order's objective is Nathema. I can't believe it, but Theron's information was good. What's more, the coordinates we received from Theron pointed to a specific location on Nathema. It may be Zildrog's location, but we can't know for sure. what Theron has up his sleeve, and I don't need to. I'm choosing to trust him. It doesn't matter if we trust him or not. If we want to stop the Order, we need to act quickly. In any case, I'm coming with you to face those traitors. We've come too far to let them win now. Let's show them who they're dealing with. Commander, there's something I need to say. Not so long ago, you placed your faith in me, in spite of my past. I was your enemy from the start, but Theron was your friend. He stood by your side through the worst of my attacks. Regardless of his intentions now, when the time comes, consider the same mercy you showed me. I know Lana has her doubts, but I never stopped believing in him. He's still on our side. I can feel it. I know better than anyone to trust your judgment. Now go. Save the Alliance. I can feel the history here. Valkorion had so much left to accomplish. If he had his way, we'd all be dead. Valkorion made Zakul a paradise, until your Alliance destroyed it. I know I wouldn't be here if I didn't want to help. Then don't forget your place. We've arrived. It calls out to us. It has slept for centuries, but knows the time to feed is approaching. Zildra. Call the others. We'll begin soon. According to reports, the Force has returned to Nathema since Valkorion's death. The process has left the planet unstable and violent. 
so we'll need to be cautious. I've got the fleet rallied over Odessa in case we need to mobilize. Good luck, Commander. This is where the coordinates pointed to, but... Where are we? Not Zildrog's location, evidently. Sorry. I needed to meet somewhere the Order wouldn't notice. I managed to give them the slip, but we don't have much time. They said I was crazy to trust you. But I knew you'd come back. I don't know how I could deserve your trust. I have a lot of explaining to do. I heard rumors about the Order of Zildrog through my old Underworld contacts. It took me months to even find them. And the whole time, they were watching us. By the time I learned the truth about Zildrog, it was almost too late. They learned too much. I had to slow them down long enough for the Alliance to catch up. I had to join them. Work from the inside. The only way to get Ven Atreus to trust me was to betray you. It wasn't the only way. Why didn't you come to me? The Gemini droid was watching. I couldn't figure out how, but she was recording every word we said. Telling you would risk the whole operation. I needed the betrayal to look real. You can't imagine how hard it was putting you through that. But I swore I'd do whatever it took to protect you. Remember? I remember. If anything happened to you, I couldn't... You mean everything to me. So you infiltrated the Order and learned their plans. What are we up against? They found Zildrog in one of the Emperor's vaults. Looks like Valkorion kept it on ice as a failsafe. The Order has nearly finished their final preparations. Once they activate Zildrog, it's the end of the Alliance. I see them. The Alliance has arrived. Already? How did they find us so quickly? Aaron Sean is among them. I warned you about him. The deceitful scum! I'll have to begin ahead of schedule. Make sure the others are ready. Our new ally will take care of the Outlander. I stalled them with false data for as long as I could, but we don't have much time. If we act now, we can stop the order before they activate Sildrog. I set up blind spots so we can get through the vault mostly undetected. We're supposed to trust you after what you've put us through. How do we know you're not leading us straight into the Order's hands? I know you don't believe him, Lana, but I do. The least you can do is trust my judgment. I... I apologize. You know I'll follow you whatever you decide. Come on. We need to get moving. for the day I faced you, but I could never be prepared to feel this hatred. Study my face, Hunter. I am Malia Generis. You killed the Supreme Chancellor, the love of my life, for a handful of credits. You will pay for your crimes against the galaxy and against my family. Zildrog will ensure it. For what it's worth, I'm not proud of what I've done. My apology isn't enough, but you have it anyway. You're right. It's not enough. I suspect what I've sent will only slow you down a little. But it gives me some satisfaction at least. Goodbye, Hunter. What is this? Yes. 
you! Been one to do that for ages. Organics fight so hard for their survival. But you are too late. The thrones have been filled. Zildrog is summoned. What happened to these people? They served a purpose they hadn't anticipated. Fuel for Zildrog's awakening. First, he will destroy the shackles that kept the enslaved to your kind. Then he will obliterate your pathetic alliance as a reward to Atreus for playing his part. That machine can wipe out an entire planet without a weapon? I'm calling your bluff. What stands before us is only Zildrog's mind. I'll show you how little you understand. The time has finally come. Zildrog awakens. Not since I consumed this planet have I felt such hunger. Give me a target. Let me feed. Execute formation to 995. Everyone off Odessa. Launch as many shuttles as you can. That's a tall order, but I'll do my best. Gathering power. Inconvenient. It appears I'll have to eliminate you myself. Destroy the power sources. Don't let Zildrog recharge. We need to shut Zildrog down before it has the chance to attack again. Tech involved shouldn't be too different from Tithe, so I think I can slice into it. Baron, no! Baron! I sacrificed too much to let you ruin my last chance at vengeance. Zildrog will destroy Odessin, and you'll finally know how it feels to lose everything. I'll tear you apart for what you did to Theron. There's the true Alliance Commander. It's time to end this! Zildrog, lend me your power! Servants of the Dragon! 
Theron's still alive, but just barely. <laughs> Couldn't even do that right. It looks like you've won again, Outlander. Like you always do. What are you waiting for? Strike the final blow. Be the hero yet again. You didn't just threaten the Alliance. You endangered the galaxy, including Zakul. Let your own people decide your fate. So be it. I have a team headed your way now. We'll make sure Zakul gets their prisoner. We don't have much time. Unless we get Theron to Odessa, he won't make it. Call a shuttle. We're taking Theron home. No Alliance casualties, minimal damage to Odessan, and we stopped an ancient machine from destroying half the galaxy. I'd say that's a win. Factions associated with members of the Order have offered their apologies. But the fact remains, the Fleet and the Gravestone, our two strongest weapons, are gone. The future of the Alliance is... uncertain. What happened on Nathema is proof that we need change. Odessan was nearly destroyed because of the Alliance. It's better we lay low for a while. A vacation wouldn't be so bad, would it? After this, I imagine the Empire and Republic will double down on their war efforts. We may need to consider who we'll support when the time comes. I hope you're comfortable working for the Republic. As long as they're comfortable with my interrogation tactics. You know, it'll be nice to take a break from ruling the galaxy. Oh, like you've ever taken a break in your life. Theron! It's, uh... It's been a while since I was last in this room. It's good to be back. Look, I know I put you through hell. I was reckless and stupid and it almost cost us everything. I probably don't deserve the trust you showed me, but I did it to protect you and the Alliance. And if you'll have me, I'll work hard to earn a place at your side. So, what do you say? Are we still a team? You risked your life for us. There's always a place for you here. I don't know what I would have done if you'd said no. <laughs> I'll give you some privacy. Every night since I left, I've had the same nightmare. You're walking away, and no matter how fast I run, I can't catch up. Leaving you there on Umbar, it... It destroyed me. I don't think I'll ever forgive myself for what I did. I won't pretend it didn't hurt, Theron. I... I know I don't deserve it. But can you give your idiot spy boyfriend one more chance? You don't need another chance. I'll always love you, whatever comes. Oh, thank the stars. I'll spend the rest of my life showing you how much I love you. Theron Sean? That sounded an awful lot like a marriage proposal. Wh uh, what? I, I didn't, I mean, I mean, if you really... do you? You'll never know if you don't ask. You know what? Throwing caution to the wind here. Will you... Uh... You know. This is really difficult for you, isn't it? Just... 
Marry me? Please? When you put it that way, I have to say yes. <laughs> I can't believe it. A new chapter, together. The Alliance might change, but Lana and I are here to stay. I don't know what tomorrow will look like, but we have your back. Whatever the future throws our way, we'll all face it together.